Hey guys, Small Snipe here. Just a quick uh, tutorial video of the program that I use for my stop motions. Uh, I use three uh, programs mainly. One is uh, the first one is going to be Photoscape, which you can download for free. Uh, I'll put it in the link in the description. Then there's Windows Live Movie Maker, which comes with the Windows computer if you have Windows. If you don't, I'm not sure if you can download it onto your non-Windows computer, or there's probably a substitute for it. I'm not sure. You'll have to do some looking uh, for that. And then the last one is called VideoPad. Uh, that's VideoPad Editor Professional. That one, you get a trial version, and then you have to buy it. So not too much money, I don't think. I'll also put that in the uh, description. So let's get started. So first what you want to do is you want to load your photos onto the computer. So in this case I've already done that. So I need Hello. to find them. You're going to come play on offer too? Uh. Alright, let's just use these. Uh, so you got your photos here yeah. and you make sure you've got them all. And then remember where you've got them placed in your files. So then go He's to Photoscape. To uh, and uh, so now you're in Photoscape here, and you want to find your photos. <laughs> so to look should be pretty easy to find. So here they are. Here's the photos. So in here you can edit. Uh, usually any a lot of stuff here. There's uh, auto level, auto contrast. Yeah. This stuff helps if your lighting was off. You got bloom, backlight. There's tons of stuff on here. I haven't Don't even used everything. Me. There's so many features. Um, one of the ones I use is flashing lights. That is lens flare. So here's the light there. You can see it. Liar. And you can make whatever color you want. Any color of the rainbow. Uh, change the size. Thickness, length of the little beams that stick out, the number of the beams that stick out, and then you can place it on your vehicle. I don't like this placer, it's kind of hard to see. So there, uh, also, okay, so now you have it, and you can press OK. And then go to save, and then you got you got to press this thing first and save it. Make sure you're saving it in the same file that your pictures are in, uh, and then do save in the designated folder. Case I'm not going to do that. So just play around with this, uh, different settings on there. Okay, and um, now we are going to go to Windows Live Movie Maker. What? And this is something else. Let's go ahead and get a new one. All right. So now you want to go to the file with all your pictures. And make sure you have the first one selected. And then scroll all the way to the bottom. And hold shift. And then click. Shut up. Then hold and drag these um, into the Windows Live Movie Maker. Like that. There you go. So now you've got all your photos from your stop motion in the uh, quay or Q, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so then go to edit. And then duration. Now, at the moment, it's seven, and here the load can go with one second, which is really bad for stop motion. So just click inside the box, and it'll turn blue. You then press backspace and make the time. I don't know. Let's do point thirteen. That's pretty good. And then there, you've got your stop motion going. Looks like it's a stop motion. Watch it there yeah, for a second. This is the stop motion I started and never finished. Kind of aborted it. Oh, you suck. So there, that's what I have. Get out of my party. And now it will sometimes put the a uh, few frames at the end at the beginning. I have no idea why it does that, but it does. So you'll just have to cut and paste uh, back to the end. So now you can uh, a lot of stuff. You can do title, my video. Whatever, uh, there's animations, transitions, sometimes the transitions you might have to save as video uh, because the slide is going so fast they won't work. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll just play around with the settings once you get them. And uh, now we're going to go to Windows Live um, or the video pad and drag your video into here. Now I did not 
save it, we'll just open a different one. Just stop. All right, let's get this one. So drag it into here, into this one, your files, so you know what files you have here. Right. And then drag it in into here. Now this is a different video from the one I was just editing. So now you got your video going. Here's audio where I have headphones right now. Oops. So this is uh, a video. There are several clips here combined. Um, in this you can split video uh, so you can move it around. And the main thing I use this for is audio. There's all kinds of audio here that you can uh, place. It's what I use for my stop motion so I can layer and overlap stuff. By the way, Warren Productions is my other channel. It's for little plastic army guys, which I don't really do anymore. So, yeah, it's kind of a closed channel. Uh, so there's also blanks you can insert. And really, it's just for audio. It's where I use it for. What is body? Nothing else, really. And then I save it. Save movie. And a whole bunch of settings here, and then just save it. Um, and that's really it. Uh, not much else to my stop motion. I did basically uh, other than filming it, which just take quite a lot of work. Well, that's it. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any more questions or would like to see uh, more detail on some of the stop motions I do, I, <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and do that. So uh, subscribe, leave a comment, check out my other stop motions, and. Uh, all oh right, God, the small snipe is signing off.